everyone, this is Peggy with Sweet Tea Makery, and I'm so glad you can join me tonight. Um, I tried to go live both on Facebook and YouTube, and it's the first time, and it quite didn't quite work, so today's just going to be uh, Facebook, and we will upload uh, the video to, to our um, YouTube channel. So today, we're going to do a fun craft. I decided to do my... 12 days of Christmas crafting a little early because some of the supplies uh, that you're that you're going to need you need to get out and get um, now because um, and hey how are you doing let me just check y'all real quick to make sure that um, we are on uh, the right page and that we are definitely live let's hope we are let's see if we can get there We'll try it again. I'm hoping everything went right. It's been a while since I've been on Facebook as a live, so um, there we are. Okay, and if I if I don't see your comments, hey everyone, let me know that you're here. Let me know where you're viewing from. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've been on Facebook Live, so I do apologize for any uh, uh, mess ups uh, now and later. So quickly, we're going to do some gumball um, Christmas um, crafts, and these crafts you can use as gifting. You can put them in your shop. People love all the cutesy little Christmas things. Um, you know, if you have a, a, a vendor shop and a, a marketplace, or you know, even if you do a craft fair, these are cute, inexpensive. For you and inexpensive for your buyers, for your um, people, uh, customers. I'm sorry, that uh, <clears throat> that people will 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 love. So I'm just going to tilt you down, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So you can see what we're doing. And hey, again, if you're just joining me, let me know you're here. Say hey. I'm trying to see comments, but they're just not coming up. Hey, Christy, thank you so much for sprinkling. Okay. So, I'm just going to show you all this giant mega Christmas gumball um, that I picked up at Ross's. Um, I actually had two of them. I picked one up last year, and I'm nearly empty on my other one. And I happened to see another one this year. And it comes with um, three different size gumballs, y'all. And these are the pearlized. So, um, they're so pretty. You can't really tell on camera, but they have a pearl sheen to them. And they're... Um, they're delicious. I've tried them. <laughs> but if you, just to let you know, if you can't find um, this in your, um, you know, Ross's TJ Maxx usually carries these type of things every year. If you can't find them, a good place to go is Party City. If you have a Party City around you, they actually sell the gumballs in individual colors. So you can go and pick and choose. So if you want to do, uh, instead of a Christmas craft, you can do a Valentine's or a fall craft. Um, and add fall things, you know, fall colors, or <clears throat> if you just want to do red and white, if you can't find, um, can't find a, a large container like that, or a bag, again, you can check in all different places, Dollar General, even Dollar Tree. So our other item we're going to use, I got from Dollar Tree, and this is, um, you know, I think everybody knows what these are. They are the little mini uh, shot glasses, and we're going to do a mini gumball first. We're going to do three, uh, hopefully get to all three, but we're going to do three different ways to do um, gumball cr Christmas crafts. So the first one we're going to do is the mini, okay? And again, if I don't see your comments, um, please feel free, I will, um, you know, to comment or ask questions, and I'll come back and check check afterwards and uh, try to answer your questions. So the next thing is we want to use for the mini. Um, you can get these at Dollar Tree. They're out there now. And these are uh, the ornaments that come in two. And if you can't see anything, <laughs> let me know. Um, I've already, uh, now the minis, because those gumballs, like I told you before, they're, they're, um, they come in three sizes, large, medium, small. And in the small plastic Christmas ornaments, um, the only the small ones will fit in, okay? So, so that's why I really love uh, finding little um, 
things like that because um, I can use it multiple ways. So the other item is I picked up this washi tape. It's a metallic silver and let's see for our mini. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry, almost forgot. So I took some buttons. Um, I purchased, you know, I'll just buy a big old pack of these. And um, they were black, and then I took and spray painted it silver with a silver metallic paint. Um, you can use the mirrored paints, or um, I got this cute deco color. It's a premium uh, Primo um, pen, and what it does is that it um, paints in silver leaf. Okay, and I picked this up um, at Walmart actually and uh we'll be using that for two different ways so i also painted a couple of large ones and a medium one and uh you can spray paint them or use the gold leaf pen whichever you want to to do okay let's see i'm swiping hey hey sally welcome welcome hi diane how are you okay so we're going to go ahead and get started. So what I did was I took the washi tape and I wanted to create, you know how um, it has that little silver uh, on your gumballs? Um, so I took the washi tape and I just cut a slice off and I put it there. So you're going to need your glue gun as well. And then I'm going to take this little button that I painted. And we're going to put it right above that to kind of give it that feel of a gumball machine. And y'all, these are so quick and easy. They're fun for gifting. Um, they're fun. These can be hung on your Christmas tree. We're going to put a little dab of glue. We don't need much. Oh, and be careful. Don't burn yourself. Now, I'm using my hot glue gun because I couldn't find my cool temperature glue gun. So just be careful, y'all. Might be a little too much, but we'll see. Okay, I'm just going to tap it on there. There we go. And we can always pull these little glue, glue strings off. So now you see how we have that part there. Y'all, this is just the cutest, cutest little ornament. So I went ahead and filled one of these up with the gumballs. Now you don't really want to do um, all of them. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top. Just because, for this reason only. <laughs> so what we're going to do is turn um, the small plastic. Oh, let me just say, I did um, take the uh, lids off and I actually washed it with um, with all of them, these plastic ornaments, with a mild uh, soap and um, water. And rinsed them really well and let them drain just so that, you know, I didn't, I was worried about some, you know, food re you know residue to get on onto these gumballs because somebody may eat them it's really kind of for pretty but but that's the way um i kind of am y'all <laughs> i'm kind of particular so we're just going to add some glue to the top of this doesn't take much and what i do is i flip this over just like this just in case i don't want it to melt on my um onto my gum just in case it melts into the plastic I did a little practice one and I want to make sure I'm even on there let's just make sure that we're even I'm gonna flip oh yeah okay okay so here's the first one y'all what do y'all think let me know. Do y'all like it? So you can take, and if you want it, had some twine, the red and white twine. You can use that. You can make it into a, um, and you got to let it harden a little bit, y'all. So <laughs> I was holding it. But you can hang these from your tree. You can gift these to family um, or put them in your shop. They're just adorable. And so it's, so, you know, it's like 50 cents for this. And I'll show you the bag again. So I got mine from Dollar Tree. You can see them in some of the grocery stores. But there's 22 cups uh, for a dollar. So, you know, pennies, y'all. Pennies. Um, other than the gum. So here's the first one. And uh, I just thought it was darling, y'all. Okay, that's number one. And this is going to be a pretty quick 
craft because it's it's that quick. So I also picked up while I was doing that. I also picked up uh, these larger uh, red cups from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to take one out. Let's just put this aside. So I wanted to try making maybe a taller one. Now the, the smaller one, the smaller little ornament, I think is too small. Okay, so I went to the larger size um, Dollar Tree. Sorry, I got everything everywhere. Again, welcome if you're just joining me and say hey. Tell me where you're um, uh, viewing from and sprinkle for me, y'all, because I'm trying to reach um, uh, a certain number. Um, actually, I'm trying to reach up to 2,000 viewers so that I can do a giveaway. And I'll be giving away some of these things so you can make your own. So what I decided to do was to um, try making one of these using the larger cup and see how that works. So I went ahead, oops, I went ahead and um, uh, put some gumballs in there. And this one will fit the medium and the small gumballs. But I wanted to show you another cute option, and I'll show it to you in just a moment. But we're going to put this back on this is the lid and actually we need to trim this off okay we got that off and we're gonna put this back on y'all this is the only part that's the hardest part don't you think when you do these crafts with the lid I always pop myself okay so in the you know that metal is kind of there we go okay so now we've got the, the gumball and the ornament back on top. And I'm going to use this one. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take some of our washi tape. Now, if you don't have washi tape, you can use the, um, they, they have silver metallic, um, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, the silver metallic, oh, uh, what is it called, y'all? Duct tape. <laughs> You can do that, and then we'll show you another little option too. I may actually do it on here. Let's just let's look and see how this looks. I made that a little bit bigger, and I think I'm going to put it right here. Yeah, let's just do it right there. Okay, so you can see that I've added that washi tape. But if you don't have the washi tape, and you can find this silver leaf um, pen you can use this it actually does look silver and it's shiny um so you can actually paint it in or if you have silver paint you can paint that and now i'm going to take one of these buttons that i spray painted silver and i think yeah we'll do that if i want to come down lower let's just try up on the upper top we're going to use some glue and y'all if you're not already following me i'm going to be doing 12 days of christmas crafts I want to be real careful when I do this, y'all. Um, it doesn't take much glue, so there we go. Um, but I also am going to be doing, in between, um, some more fall crafts um, and maybe some more. Um, um, that hurt, y'all. Not too bad, but it hurt. <laughs> I should be using my little rubber fingers, but I don't have them with me. Okay. So let's just go up here and any little spider web glue I'll just so I show y'all I thought that came out super cute oh my goodness y'all that is adorable I think it looks super cute and we're gonna do the same thing that we did before we're gonna flip this around and we're going to add some glue and again um, it just depends. I use a Shore Bonder glue gun, so it just depends on um, how hot your glue gets and whether it melts these plastic cups, y'all. And, um, you know, some of those really big glue, um, I don't know what you want to call them, but glue guns that, you know, have the big battery packs, those get super hot, and I think that might melt. Um, so, and again, y'all, I'm getting low on my glue. I'm going to have to change my glue stick, but let's see. And I have arthritis in this right hand, y'all, so please forgive me. It just takes a lot of effort for me 
to uh, to do that. Okay, again, I'm going to flip this over. And what's really good is you see that? It's got that little dimple in the bottom. So that kind of gives you a center point. And when we drop that down on there, and we have a little bit of time to um, see what it looks like. I don't think it's going to melt. There we go. Just to make sure that it's centered. And actually, y'all want to turn it this way. Yeah. There we go. Okay, and this one definitely is a lot heavier. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to let that really sit. Okay. So make sure I got that on there. Nice and good. You may need, I may have needed to add a little more glue. So yeah. Still have time to work with it. Okay. So we definitely need to let that one sit. Okay, I'm going to hold it just because it needs to, to set. The glue needs to set. So if you can see that, let me know. And that's the one with the larger one. And that's a cute little sit around, y'all just adorable i think it's super cute so here's the other idea i had uh, that i wanted to show you instead of using and you don't have to use gumballs you can use all sorts of things um, in here and in, for instance i actually picked up at dollar tree these cute little erasers they're um, snowmen and reindeer and uh, Christmas trees. And so I filled it with, with those erasers. So you can fill it with anything you want, honestly. And all you do is you would add, again, add your lid back onto it and you would place it on top of your... Um, gumball. So this is a cute little sit around, which I thought was adorable, and it's cute for a hostess gift to take. It's inexpensive. Costs you what, a dollar, a dollar twenty-five at the most, and it's a cute little um, hostess gift um, to take with you. Um, To a Christmas party or you know to you know if you're having Christmas with, with family and friends and you want to take a nice little what we call Circe's here and I don't know if y'all call them we call them Circe's uh, take a nice cute little um, Circe so here's the other thing that I wanted to show you that we did and uh, I just took a clay pot okay and I painted it um, red and I'm gonna use that same uh, button that we're going to glue on here. I think I'm going to try painting it with the pen that you can certainly um, use this and these are e easily come off. I'll just do a little bit and then we'll um, we'll peel it off if we want to. So um, just trying to make it level. And you see how that looks? But you can, I may not do the pen just because that looks so nice and neat, but, but if you don't have, um, if you can't find the washi tape, the metallic washi tape, um, you can do that as well. So before I add this uh, button to it, I wanted to dress it up a little. So um, you could certainly just go that way um, with it. Um, but I wanted to dress it up just a little. Um, so I have some Rick Rack. And I thought what would be super cute, y'all, is to go around. And this is why I probably need to, should have moved that up a little bit. This is great about the washi tape is that you can move it. Um, probably should have did this first, but this is the first one I'm doing, y'all. So, um you can dress it up a little bit just like that and um you would just lay it down with the glue and we may do that um afterwards we'll see but i thought that was a great idea
to kind of dress it up. Now you can certainly take a paintbrush and if you've got a great steady hand, you can uh, do the little zigzags or do a line uh, with a white paint. Now I painted this um, just with an acrylic uh, paint and then I came back and sprayed it with a sealer and I used a satin sealer. So for the top of this one, we're not going to use an ornament. We're going to actually use, and forgive me for the noise um, that we, uh, and I just made, see if I can get that out. I've made this one a little too full, but that's fine. We may just go with it because we can always undo it. But what this is, is this is the snow globe from Dollar Tree, okay? And all I did was fill it up with the gumballs, or you can use erasers. Now this is the, um, I probably should have did this first too. This is the sticker that came up on, on top of it. Oh no, it works pretty good. Now I may have to add glue to my glue gun. So again, this is the snow globe. And y'all, this one really fits just super nice um, up on there. So you can see how that looks. So before we do that, um, now you can take a uh, wood bead if you want to and paint it black or white or, or whatever color you want. You can uh, add that to the top. Or I picked up just a little bag of these um, pom-poms from Dollar Tree as well. I wanted mine to have a little bit of a sparkle to it. So that's why I chose to do that, just for that little knob that you see all the time. Let's just set this up here. It's easier. Um, and we're going to add a little bit of glue to the center. Doesn't going to take much. There we go. To the center of the top of that snow globe. And let's do it this way. We're just going to add add that to the top so you see that's so cute what do y'all think i'm sorry i'm not seeing it hey ann oh hey jan hey charlene oh you're from northern kentucky i have some relatives up in kentucky hey tammy y'all thanks so much for joining me i just thought these were the most adorable little things and i'm telling y'all people love these um you know, at craft fairs and craft shows, and they're super inexpensive. It's a dollar for this. I can't remember how much I uh, paid for my clay pot. I usually actually kind of get them, um, you know, throughout the summer, and at the end of the season, you can catch them on clearance sometimes. But anyway, um, so uh, we can, let's see, we want to go ahead and glue it. This is a little too heavy, so I think I'll probably end up... Um, taking some of those gumballs out um, it does have it screws on so you do have to and it takes a little bit of effort y'all let me see don't mind my craft room it's a it's a mess okay it's gonna be a little noisy just to, just to say I'm just taking some of these out yeah let's see just so it doesn't make it so heavy okay and then um, oops and we'll stick that back in there and we'll screw that lid back on so here's where you have to decide um, it's a lot easier you can do this afterwards but it is a lot easier to um, to add your um, rick rack okay beforehand but I think I'm not going to do that just for um, time because it does take a little bit of time and my glue gun seems to not be getting super not working all that great. I may have to replace it again soon. Um, so we'll go ahead and just add this um, washi tape back to it. I need it to come up a little. Just trying to get it level. And again, you can hand paint this. And we're going to go ahead and glue this larger button. I can get a little bit of glue out of there. But my arthritis is just not doesn't want to work with me today. I have rheumatoid arthritis in this thumb, so it's in my trigger, trigger, trigger hand. And again, you're going to have some spider, spider webs that you can get. 
I just like adding the button to it. I just thought, see, I just thought it looked cuter with the button. And I left enough room that you can paint or, um, and I will probably uh, finish it up and just show how I added the, the rip wrap. Rick rack. <laughs> so again, you can see how that works. Now, if you really want to dress it up, you can take some of your ribbons. We are going to use ribbon, y'all. I just love, love ribbons. So I have this ribbon. It is a wired ribbon. It's a um, check. And then I've got this pretty sparkly one. But you can use anything you want, um, any ribbon that you have on hand. This is the uh, 5 8 inch um, ribbon. And I might need to go ahead and glue this down, but we'll see. I, I'll glue it down a little later if this doesn't work right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think if I pull it, it's going to... Yeah, okay. So the idea of this, just to show you, is to come around the top with the ribbon and then just make a cute bow. And you don't have to do that, but... I thought that would be cute. Now, if you have some cute tinsel, um, you can do that as well. You can use the um, mesh tubing um, that you can get at Dollar Tree. But, like, if you have tinsel, you can certainly go around the bottom of it with tinsel as well. And I'll just kind of give you a, a view of it. I'm not gluing it down just because the glue gun is not working <laughs> its best. But I think you get an idea. So, just so you see um, that you could use um, some of this garland tinsel. See how pretty it is? It just makes it sparkle. And that would easily be, it's wired, so you can easily do it that way. And um, also the deco mesh tubing. So, let me know if y'all, if y'all like this, did y'all like this idea? Okay, where did I find the 5 8 inch wired ribbon? Um, so, let me just set this up here, you guys, and we'll talk real quick. And again, this is just supposed to be really quick, uh, inexpensive Christmas crafts. Uh, some of the things I'll be doing are not just crafty. I'll be doing some actual door hangers and uh, maybe a wreath, but those type of things um, in there as well. So, this particular uh, one um, that I got... Um, gosh, it's coming all apart. <laughs> um, okay, this one I did not get it from, but it's, uh, but I did get something similar, uh, or other colors from Grammy's Craft Boutique. Um, I just love her, some of her stuff, but I got that one from there. Or not this one, but I got some from there, and I'm trying to think of the, uh, Craft Outlet at one time had it. I don't know if they still have it or not, but I bought this early. Um, I bought every, almost every color you could get, and I, I bought extra because I knew I was going to be using this stuff for Christmas, so um, so I did get that. Now, the sparkly one, Tammy, were you wanting to know both of them, or hey, Jan, y'all, thanks for sprinkling. I really appreciate it. Hey, welcome, Helen. Oh, thank you, Christy. I thought they were adorable. Um, just so y'all can see, y'all can go back and watch the replay. But here's the little mini one I made. And again, you can use any type of hanger. This happens to be the one that came on it. But you can use that red and white twine. You can find that. But y'all, look, these are so cute to give us little gifts for your office. Um, give them to your grandkids. Uh, give them to your big kids. Everybody loves gumballs. And you can take the little lid off if you don't glue it. You can, they can take the little lid off and uh, chew the gum and then add it, you know, use it again later. Um, or put them in your shop because, I mean, I'm telling you, you can sell this little one for $3. People will buy these things. Um, it's just the funniest thing. So this one I love is sparkly. And this one um, I just picked up um, from Hobby Lobby. So it's also a 5 8 um, yeah, 5 8 inch one but the buffalo checks i got them in green black every color um grammy's craft boutique um she had them at one time and i know craft outlet and i'm trying to think of another um there's another one but that's where i got mine from i got some from her and some from craft outlet so does anyone have any questions we'll just take a quick overview uh, oh 
so what I was going to say was that if you didn't want to use on the flower pot, if you didn't want to use the snow globe, you can certainly use um, the ornament. You don't have to use the snow globe. And um, again, y'all, aren't these the cutest little um, erasers? So if you want to give, um, I would get more, but um, I'll show you if I did it. Oh, yeah. So this is about how many you get in there. And um, I just picked up a couple of packs, but I may end up going and getting them. But they're so cute because it's a little reindeer and they're racers. And the kids can actually uh, use them. So um, we would put the top on it, of course, you know, here. And then you can um, have, the, have it filled with the erasers. You can use M&Ms. You know, especially at Christmas time, you can get the M&Ms. Um, and fill it with M&M's. There's also Nerds. Any other candies that, you know, that look Christmas related. Um, but I like the little sparkle. What do y'all think? Y'all like it? Y'all want to see me do some more crafts? You're welcome. You're welcome, Tammy. Y'all let me know in the comments below if y'all want me to do some more uh, Christmas crafts with you guys. Some of them will be actual taped videos because I have some things I got to get uh, uh, do during the week. So I may just upload a video around uh, this same time at 8 o'clock. Um, but I'm going to try to do most of them live. And thanks so much for joining me. Um, just wanted to say, i got to clean up my craft room, y'all. Um, as you can see, I'm still doing some uh, following, I call it. In between Halloween and fall, I do Halloween, uh, which is actually either fall or Christ uh, fall or Halloween. But um, I, I'm so glad that y'all um, enjoyed this little um, craft um, in three different ways. And um, I hope you try it out. And if you do, please, um, please do that. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's uh, at Sweet Tea Makery there. Um, I have all other kind of videos that I'll be uploading there um, as well. Sometimes it's here on Facebook, sometimes not. And if you aren't already following me, if I haven't already said that, if you are not already following me, go ahead and give me a follow so that you'll be notified when I go live and, um, and catch all these cute little projects that I have planned, y'all. Some super cute ideas. So y'all have a blessed evening, and we'll see you again tomorrow around 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Have a blessed night. Bye now. And I've got to learn to do this, y'all. I do this left-handed. I'm ambidextrous, so pardon me. <laughs> okay. Bye, y'all. Well... There we go. <laughs> All right. You can switch for in live. If you're in the live now, you'll be able to choose if you want to save or delete.